Hello, Red Club Eleven, and uh, welcome to the video. Uh, so I decided I'm gonna move all the, or I'm gonna put those, these these weird sort of gameplay videos. I'm gonna put them on my main channel, um, because uh, any any amount of content I'm uploading on the main channel is better than nothing. Like I said, commentary is gonna come in between. Also, like I'm gonna still upload the, the commentary. This is gonna happen twice. Wait, not twice. Uh, I'm gonna try to aim for four times a week, but the real schedule is gonna be once every two days. You gotta see one of these videos. So, for example, I uploaded the first one Sunday. This one's gonna get published Tuesday. Uh, then the next one's gonna get published Thursday. And after that, Saturday and Monday. You know, we're gonna go like that. Might do Saturday and Sunday back to back, though. I don't know yet. Uh, sorry, I took a sip of my water. Hopefully, I didn't make too much noise. Maybe I should put the water bottle on the floor. I'm gonna get really thirsty uh, talking. But, anyways. We're going to be playing RoboQuest this time, like I said I would in the last video. Uh, I'm trying to get comfortable, because <laughs> I'm sitting really weird right now. Alright, anyways, we're going to play on Heroes. I'm not going to do, not going to do Heroes um, Plus. Is that what it's called? Heroes Plus? Heroes Plus 2. I'm not going to do Heroes Plus 2. I haven't beat Heroes. This is the same thing as basically like Elite and uh, a Gunfire. I haven't beat that either. Um... Now, what do I want to do here with the weapons? See, the thing is, I want to have a third weapon slot. I want the... Where's the fanny pack? Yeah, I want the fanny pack. Excuse me, but I, I don't at the same time. Because it's not really worth, you know? Because I, don't, I, don't, I only really need to use two weapons. Uh, we're also going to be playing Engineer. Probably not the best idea since I don't really play Engineer proper. I should probably go Commando, right? Ten second cooldown. Ten second cooldown. Hang enemies. Drop scrap and take down. Drop more. What? What? What does scrap do in this? Add uh, temp. And each scrap gather reduces this cooldown. Ah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. See, I was like, when I was playing before, uh, I was like, what the fuck? Why is there no? There's no cooldown on um the melee anymore. That's, that's why. Okay. Um. Let's go with the longbow. I'm probably not going to play precision for very long. Uh, but we're going to try it anyways. Because why the fuck not? I like the longbow, honestly. I'll be honest with you. as like a weapon. I really do like the longbow. It's just that I suck with uh, precision. And especially... Pro Whoa, hold on, buddy. Projectile precision. Another thing is that if I go with longbow... It means I'm probably not going to be swapping as much, which means that it actually might work out my benefit. Because that means I'm not going to be using my secondary as often, which means I won't have to worry about the reload time on it. So I can pick up any secondary if I keep longbow. So I might keep longbow, actually. We'll, we'll see. Uh, right now, I'm thinking we'll keep longbow. But, okay, well, it depends on <laughs> how my aim is looking. Because, as you guys know, well, no, you might not know this. But, but uh, longbow does precision weapons do fat damage on on uh, weak shots on weak spots. So why they? All right, well we're getting a shotgun now. No, I want the flamethrower. <laughs> I never use flamethrowers. So I actually do want to keep it. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I should have grabbed the demolition, but <laughs> whatever, whatever. It, it's it's something I'll deal with in the future. But yeah, I'm coming off of this right after the first video because I want to make sure I get two at least back to back. So if I do get lazy, I'm going to record the other video. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to record it the same day I'm supposed to record them. But this is so that if I get lazy, I'll always have a one week buffer. Uh, it also does mean, though, that I won't be able to talk about any topic. Not one week. Sorry. Uh, uh, a buffer for like two days. But it also means I won't be able to talk about any topics that happen that same day. And it actually makes sense in terms of being relevant, though, which is the big problem. So I might not even keep this up for that long. I just kind of want to have it as, like, a, an idea. Um, Middle path always sucks the most for me, but I haven't done it in so long. I'm going to do it now. Like, I, by default, I always go right path, um, which is... The boss has changed now, I think, but it used to be always uh, the fucking... 
Doctor Med or whatever his name is, the fucking ro the, the the healing Doctor Heal something, the healing ro robot thing. Um, it has like the fire and shit. He's pretty. He's pretty tough. I'll be honest, but he's also pretty fun. Uh, using Love Bond increases drone damage and fire rate. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Elemental damage has a chance to ricochet. I want to reroll it to be honest, because none of these seem worth. Let's reroll. Uh, increased drone capacity. Uh, I want to. <sighs> Health up is way more important since I'm not even using drones right now. That's why I just put one out because I just got reminded I wasn't even using them. Uh, the reason why is because they die so fast. It's kind of not worth it in my opinion to have them out. But now that I know that I can increase or decrease the cooldown it takes for them to come out with that, I might want to get more drones soon. So the moment that one dies, which doesn't even seem to be happening anytime soon right now, um, I'll replace them. Or, it heals? Okay. Okay, totally worth. Shock rifle, not worth. That's not worth. So I have two weapons that I can swap to. This is perfect. Two weapons that I, I don't have to feel obligated to use. Um, Because you know what I mean? Like, uh, if you've ever played this game, you have to swap out weapons a lot because they have reloads. But the reason why I like this game so much is because... First of all, em enemies, there's very few enemies that can, en enemies, enemies that can predict your movements. Uh, that's my biggest beef with uh, gunfire. Sorry, I'm scratching my ear. That's my biggest beef with gunfire, is that, oh, this is a reload. But, doesn't it have a, yeah, it has a scatter shot. It's kind of worse because the reload's so short. No, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. I gotta go with high damage. Uh, did I grab? No, I didn't go. Oh, I did. What? There was a knife back there. Not worth it anyways, but... Yeah, I wasn't collecting cells. Uh, anyways, but the... the um... Fuck, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, basically, you have to swap out weapons a lot uh, in this, and enemies and... Oh, that's what it was. Gunfire. And enemies, enemies and gunfire predict your movements a lot. Um, and it's super fucking annoying, because... It, it, arena shooters, typically... Are meant to be about high high movement, right? In your mobility and just moving around and stuff. You can't really do that in gunfire because if you're trying to move, for example, if an enemy is shooting at you and they predict that you're going to move left because you know they can read your inputs and you're moving that way already, so they just keep reading the trajectory. The logical answer is okay, stop moving left. But if you're in a that that works, right? But if you're in a room full of like let's say like anywhere upwards of like five enemies and they're any type of rapid fire enemy. Especially the homing enemies. I fucking hate the homing enemies in that game. It almost makes it feel like you can't really use any weapon that weighs you down in that game. Because, um... You inherently are gonna get killed faster if you use one of those. But anyways, it, it, you, could you could tell I'm not focusing as much right now because I didn't heal my drones. They just both died. But, um... It's... It makes it... Uh, a lot less fun to use weapons that slow you down and do fat damage because it's not really risk or reward It's just dead. You're just gonna die like essentially from it because you take the damage uh, payoff it payoff is Not good enough for how much damage you're gonna be taking Unfortunately, and I think that's something that they really need to work on I think it's not really gonna be something that they do work on though because the game is basically almost done at this point but I really do want to see them address this problem um whether it be increase the the base dodge cooldown or decrease it sorry to like one second or make it so that you start off inherently with three dashes and the cooldown for each dash would be like three seconds still but it's like the per the propulsion device or whatever um that'd be like a part of the main loadout you know something like that or maybe like some characters have more dashes or some characters have faster base movement speed because, I mean, technically, um, forgot her name, the bunny one that I always play. I mean, she, she is high a high movement character, but it doesn't really feel like she is, simply for the fact that they don't really do a good job, um, in my opinion, with that. Like, her ability does increase her speed over kills, or after kills, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't, like, uh, I don't know, feel useful. Grand Storm's a random effect, elemental effect, explosives, is... Let's go with... 
No, we're not going to do it with that. Uh, I don't want to re-roll again. I don't want to re-roll again. So we're going to go with this. Ah. But yeah. Gunfire is a fun game and all. But honestly, I, f I feel like it has a lot of problems that needs to get sorted out. Like this, right? There's inherently more bullets on screen, right? And you'd be thinking, oh, this is a lot more stressful than gunfire, right? Uh, it is. It actually is a lot more stressful than gunfire. But it's a lot more fun because everything, for, for the general, like, person watching the video, it looks like there's bullets just going everywhere nothing makes sense, right? But for me, even if I get hit by a couple of them, I understand why I got hit by them and where they're coming from. It's never... Wait... Did I get shot by that guy or that guy? It's always, okay, he shot me because that bullet was going in that direction from that guy. You know, like, I can see where his line of fire is, and I can see where he's going to be firing at any moment. Like, they fire at where my current position is at the time when they see me, rather than uh, where they think I'm going to be moving. And sure, that's really cool AI, you know. Oh, that, that AI is real smart. It makes the game harder. But it also makes the game unfair when there's more than one enemy on screen. Uh... Or more than, like, three or something like that. Um, I want to say it's a good thing in theory. And it works probably better when you have multiple people playing with you. But you got to keep in mind, I don't have any friends playing the game with me. So, for me, it just kind of is unfair. It's, like, super cheap, in a sense. I forgot I swapped. But, yeah, it's super, super cheap, in a sense. It just feels like I'm getting punished for nothing. Like, I, like I didn't deserve to get hit by those shots. They just kind of happen, and there wasn't really much of a way for me to deal with them. Kind of want to use the crossbows. No, let's just go with the bow again. My aim's not that awful right now. But, but yeah. It just feels like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a lot more um, bullshit is what it feels like. Rather than me feeling like, oh, I got hit by that. You know, it doesn't feel as fair, I should say. Overall, I do... Alright, this is what we needed. This is what we needed. We needed the shotguns. What? Huh? Oh, shit. I didn't notice. <laughs> Should've looked down. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. It just feels a lot more, like, uh, a lot less fair. And a lot less fun. Because it's a lot less fair. But, you know. That's just, uh... That's just how the game's designed. So, if I wanna... From, I can bitch and moan about it all I want, but... At the end of the day, I still play the game, right? So it's only me that's instigating or allowing them to, <laughs> to, to, to keep doing this. And truth be told, it's not a bad game. It's just that after playing it day in and day out, even though I don't have that many hours in it, I've been playing it for like, it's one of those games that I turn on when I like have nothing else to do. I'm like, I, I want to listen to some music and, um, and just chill, you know? It's one of those games I'll turn on. But it, it, it's starting to get me to the point where it's like, well, damn. You know, do I really want to keep playing this? It's not inherently an awful game, like I said. It's just, it's just it bothers me. It's annoying, like the the way the mechanics work in it. Like, like these enemies, for example, right? They, they. That's why I don't go this path because they read your movement, but they're not as bad because they're just one big AOE that goes off. That's um, in the area that you're going to be moving to, right? What the fuck? What is this, Lex? What is this? I'm playing Paladins now. I gotta see the damage on this. I gotta see. Because this seems like... Oh, wait. I don't have the, um... Can I? Can I make that? No, yeah. I don't have the... Wait, do I have triple jump? Oh, I do have triple jump. Okay. I had no idea. Um... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking at the stuff and thinking. But, yeah. I keep grabbing assault. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe pick up the, the shotgun again as well. But, um, yeah, I don't know. The gunfire is a fun game and all, but it's it's, it's a little bit annoying sometimes to deal with. I'm never going to try to use those guns, by the way, because they have cooldown. I'd rather just, uh, rather just go all in. Increase weapon ammo. Ooh, drone fire addition. Ooh. These are worth. I'll go with the drone, though, because I want my drones to be more efficient so that I can feel like I actually need to have them out. I'm going the wrong way again. But yeah, 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 yeah. Gunfire, f great game. Pisses me off a little bit. This game also pisses me off, but <laughs> mostly because I'm bad. <laughs> sometimes I just suck. And it's, it's fine to admit that you're bad at video games sometimes. Um, I 
feel like people are gonna start thinking I'm like self-deprecating or something like that. But I mean, like I am in a sense. You know what I mean? Like that is like a funny thing for me making fun of myself and like things about me. I, th I find that absolutely hilarious. But um, I try not to make it like the the like the broad, like you know everything that I talk about. You know, because then it gets to the point where it's just like, all right, listen, we get it. You know, you're bad at this, you're bad at that, whatever. You know, when are you gonna tell me what you're good at? <laughs> when, when is there gonna be a time when? You tell me something that's positive instead of negative. Also, I'm fucking up right now. Maybe I should get, I should get rid of Flamethrower. I'm not really finding utility for it right now. Like, I want to be closer to enemies so I can use the Flamethrower, but it doesn't kill fast enough is what it feels like. For me to be using it like that. What is this? Oh, that's fine. This is fine. Um... I wanted to avoid weapons with reload, but I'll just, I'll just, I'll take, I'll tank the L. Cause it's kind of worth. Um, yeah, but like, I don't know. It's, uh, it shouldn't be the, the, the forefront of your personality self-deprecating uh, uh, humor in my opinion. Like, cause then it's like, like, let's be honest, people that we look up to, or people that we find interesting, we like them because they live a life that we can't live, right? And they have goals, and they're, like, on a different scale. Here he is, Dr. Turret. That's his name. But anyways, uh, he, he li we, they live lives that we could never basically dream of. They, they live complete in a completely different world than us, is what it feels like. But if that person just constantly keeps talking shit about themselves, it doesn't really feel like they're in a different world anymore. It just feels like they're an average Joe like you and me. That just, um... That, that, that actually might even seem worse than you and me, because... They have so many downsides to them now, so it's like you know, what can you what can you really what can you really say about people that just talk shit about themselves all the time? Like I don't know, I feel like I feel like that, that shouldn't be the forefront of your personality. That's just how I feel about it. Like it's fine to make fun of yourself, but don't don't make that the only thing that you can say in terms of a joke. But come on, like, it, it, there's got to be better things to laugh about than than just yourself all the time, right? But, you know, that's just how I feel about it. Um, so that's why I'm going to try to stop doing it as often as I do. But, like, I mean, it's really important that I mention how bad I am at, at stuff like this, though. Because people... I, this is all I do is play these games right now. Like, on the channel. For stuff like that, for, like, gameplay. All I do is play games like this. So people are going to start thinking that I'm just, like, absurdly good at video games when that's just not the case. Uh, I'm an average Joe Schmo like you. I'm not too great at the majority of the games I play, but I do enjoy playing. Um, I don't, I'm also really bad at staying to certain games. Like, um, my most played game on Steam is, I think, Gmod with 300 hours. And that's not saying much when there's people that have thousands of hours in their favorite games. And Gmod's not even my favorite game. Terraria is my favorite game, or one of my favorite games at least. And that has like 160 hours, I think. I think that's not even my most played game on Steam at this point anymore. Or not my most, well, obviously it's not, but like... I don't even think it's in my the top three right now. Uh, because I'm so interested in other games. And Portal Knight's another game I absolutely love. I don't even play anymore right now. Or I haven't been playing in a minute. And I have like, I think 40 hours or something like that on it. Mostly because I played a lot on my PS4 when I had it. Same thing with Terraria, but... Like, it's just... You know what I mean? It's just weird to see that uh, I don't really... I switch between games a lot. I'm scratching my ear, I'm sorry. But I switch between games a lot and I don't actually have like a... Something I focus on a lot, you know? So I think that's what, what inherently is making me want to do this uh, this upload schedule because it's going to keep me uh, forced on, or forced, it's going to force me to stay doing something that I like doing and like, you know, literally just keep doing it. Like, it's not like YouTube's a chore or a job for me. I don't make money off this shit. Um, I don't have to do this shit either. I just like doing it. It's fun for me, but the problem is that things that I like to do, I don't even do half the time because I'm so focused on doing everything else that I like doing that I don't really know what I really love doing. So this is more just me testing the waters, see how much I genuinely like making content. Because I, I really do love recording. The problem is editing. <laughs> so <laughs> I really don't like editing, I'll be honest. That's like my least favorite thing to do. But I can't really say that I want to get an editor because it's not really... I always want to be able to present the side of me 
that I want to present, you know? And I always thought that when YouTubers started hiring editors, like, it, of course, it increased the quality of their content. They were able to put more time into being funny or setting up jokes or whatever. And gags and goffs and whatever. But I always felt like a piece of the that content was gone now. A piece of, like, the genuineness of, like, YouTube content. That's why we watch YouTube. Is to have a more intimate understanding and, you know, relationship with the people, the content that we're watching. Because, like, if you're watching TV, right... The celebrities on TV are unreachable. And YouTubers are supposed to be kind of closer to that. Although I don't think that they should be. Um, I'm looking at this to see if I want to swap it. Level 3. Yeah. But uh, YouTubers are supposed to be a little bit closer to you. As a person. But I still don't think that they're supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like Joe Schmo level stuff. Where it's like, oh yeah, we're all exactly the same. Because that at that point, it's like... You know, I could just go talk to my mom and get the same thing. I feel like there's a, a, a good balance between what makes for a good YouTuber. And uh, I don't really have that yet. <laughs> but I'm just hoping that I can be something that's interesting for people to watch. I don't really want to be a role model to people. That's never been my thing. Because I, I think that everybody makes mistakes, including me, obviously. Uh... But I want to be able to inspire people to do stuff, you know, and do stuff that I enjoy doing, which is what I'm doing right now, playing, playing video game, <laughs> playing, I'm playing video game, mom. Um, assault pistol, that's the one that I had at the start. Let's heal it, our uh, drones, but yeah, I don't know. Also, if you could hear background noise from out the window. Sorry about that. My cat is sitting in the window right now. And, and I don't want to close it on her because she's just having a good time just chilling. I was like, that'd be kind of rude if I just was like, hey, I'm recording a video, bitch. Get out the window. <laughs> She's like, yo, nigga, where my food? <laughs> Feed me then, at least. <laughs> nah, nigga, you ate already. <laughs> oh, man. But, I don't know, man. It's really nice to just be kind of able to talk about like all the things I'm thinking about with this stuff. Because overall, I feel like I'm just kind of like... I feel like everybody gets this point in life. But like, I, like I, I'm, I've reached adulthood, you know? I'm 20 years old now. I'm getting old, man. <laughs> I'm not getting old, but... I'm, I'm past the point where everything's kind of just given to me and easy in life, you know? Now now it's, it's time to work. You know, get a job. Supply for yourself. Fuck that guy that just sniped me. But, you know, life is not just easy mode anymore. It's... You know, work, time, effort. And I want to make sure I'm doing things I enjoy with that time and effort that I have. And obviously YouTube's not going to be easy. Which is why I'm going to be doing editing on the commentary videos and stuff still. And I'm going to be making them. Because I want that to be the, the polarizing ends of it. I'm going to die. But anyways, I want those to be the polarizing ends of it. One side of my content is going to be kind of just to make sure that I can upload consistently. And then I want the other side of the content to be to make sure that I can spend time doing things that I need to do, like editing and finding and doing like the the, the quote unquote research. I'm you're not gonna catch me becoming like a fucking news channel about like everything or like one of those commentary channels that has to be up to date on every topic. I wanna just talk about dumb shit that I found funny and then just kinda move on. I don't wanna kinda make follow up videos like, oh yeah, so this happened in the news. Unless it's, like, kind of necessary to continue the topic. I don't really want to be a drama channel, you know? Or, like, one of those commentary channels that actually has to, like... You know what I mean? Like, like there's, like, channels that do a lot of research for their commentary. I just want to kind of find a video. Think to myself, that's funny. Put my opinion out there and then just be done. I'm not trying to do, like, the, um... How do I say it? I, I also want to mention, though, I don't want to be, like, a... Man, fuck that guy. He's he's bad. Let's b bully him. It's not my goal. I make fun of people. I have a little couple of laughs and shit at people at their expense, obviously. Oh no, but I have a couple of laughs at people in their extent uh, or, or and stuff at the at them. But I don't want it to be like uh, a toxic behavior. You know what I mean? Like I want it to be kind of just fun, just, you know, harmless fun. But yeah, that was the run. <laughs> I got sniped by a fucking bot. Trying my hardest not to say some bad words. <laughs> I'm not actually mad. 
<laughs> but like that's just like the first like you know what I mean like it's the first thing that comes to my head <laughs> I gotta gotta get that out of my mind this is why I also don't think that inherently when people say like fucked up shit that they're like awful people cause I'm like look we say a fuck bunch of fucked up shit behind closed doors everybody does uh to some extent not everybody but you know a lot of people do right I'm no angel so you know we gotta give people the benefit of the doubt sometimes depending on what they say <laughs> anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like down below if you guys did uh leave a dislike if you didn't please 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 comment and tell me what you guys thought of the video and what i should improve change stuff like that i'm gonna be getting a webcam pretty soon my friend's is buying me a webcam um pretty soon and i might start changing up my content to play with more people um i might i don't know uh, recently, I've been kind of wanting to just be by myself, but I might make more content with more people, whether it be, you know, friends. That's the extent of it, friends, but, <laughs> but you know. Uh, anyways, see you guys in the next video. And like I said, please leave a dislike and comment. Oh, well, leave a dislike if you didn't like it. But <laughs> comment down below and please tell me. Give me feedback. See you guys in the next video. Ciao.